Welcome back to Rack of Sense for everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this Dune content. All right, good morning. It is 13 April 2024. The Dune Awakening uh, PAX East event had happened, what, a couple weeks ago. There have been some interesting screenshots and some um, information that came out about the game. So they did the preview roundup. Uh, of course, the big wig game sites got to go there and some of the big um our larger uh, content creators were there and uh i'm tr trying to get there folks i'm trying to get there <laughs> but uh, we went down the big thing is the screenshots i wanted to take a look at here this won't be a very long video but during the event um they showed early gameplay to journalists and content creators here are the reactions greeting sleepers shy allude has Reared his head above the sands, blessed by be the maker. Okay, so they got that cool thing. So this is what I wanted to see the most first screenshot right here. As you can see, you have Ornithopter. Looks like it's carrying a um, a harvester. I believe that's what that is. And you have your your up here in the corner. You have your your uh, your little mission in the upper left. Of course, your compass. And then some of your little icons, your water, your health, all of that on the left, lower left there. Pretty cool stuff. And your Q, I don't know what that is, an unlock speed boost maybe? I don't know. And then you have your C, which is, I don't know what that what that is. Thrust or something. But uh, pretty cool stuff. You have your temp outside, 25 degree. That see, that's probably crucial for this game. So I'm curious if certain times of day, obviously, you're gonna have hotter temperatures, and I wonder if that affects your vehicles as well. That's such an interesting thing. But I mean, just the graphics on the screenshot alone looks awesome, and how big the world looks. That's that's really what I'm I'm excited about. Let's see, uh, going down here, IGN, of course, PC Gamer, and VG247, they all had little comments about it. And then this part right here made me really excited about the base building. So you can see right there how clean the interfaces look. And it's used hologram templates. We saw that. We've heard about that already. But this is particularly awesome because just how clean all the interfaces look. I really like that and I guess we're gonna see about I mean to me what breaks makes or breaks a game is not necessarily the graphics but the frame rate so if I'm pushing a 4090 card so I'm hoping this game's gonna play pretty well but that might not be the reason I mean just because you got the good graphics card doesn't mean the game's gonna play good so that's really what I'm really worried about is the server lag how that's gonna affect the frame rates and all that good stuff so but we'll see um so that's pretty standard right here walls you can see down here on your little scroll window you have your you have your roof your incline all that good stuff so that's pretty awesome and so you're basically gonna build i guess so everything they've said you can lay the blueprint down bam and then you can feed the thing you're gonna build so you can lay the blueprint and then you it, multiple people can put resources into that blueprint and you'll watch it build finally so that's that is awesome you don't have to have the from what they've said you don't have to have all the resources in your inventory right away you can lay the blueprint and then build it um over time i don't know the timing you have like a couple minutes do you have I, they didn't say that yet but <clears throat> that is definitely exciting now they had another screenshot of the skill tree very clean uh, much more cleaner than Conan. I like I like that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be very similar to Conan. Kind of like, you know, you have your crafting, unlock, leveling up. There's definitely XP, so that's all standard stuff in a game. I mean, that's stuff you have to have, right, in a game. You have to have the uh, skill trees, inventory, and crafting. Just normal stuff to have a game, a modern game. So that's pretty standard. Uh, then we had... The next screenshot was coming over the hill here with the uh, little bike, dirt bike. <laughs> so it looks like you can have multiple people on one bike. That's cool. Look, temperature over here is 32 already. 
and getting getting warmer. So man, the I mean, is it me or this this graphics just look way better than anything we've seen before? So I'm, I am kind of <laughs> leery on some of that. But are we getting the 4K shots of stills of you know? Is it gonna be 120 frames? Is it gonna be that good? You know, FPS wise. Oh, uh, they had a close. So it was closed doors. It was a closed doors event. Q and A happened. I, I think they were just showing them. It didn't say if it was actually a, a Funcom person sitting there playing the game. Or was it just video they were watching? So that's... I didn't, they didn't say. Of course, they're not going to tell you that. <clears throat> and then your character creation. It looks like you're going to have... Uh, standard character creation. I don't know what... what I mean, are you going to have what the body scales will be? Um, they're not showing that. They're just showing the head here. So you can make a, look, uh, make a Harkonnen looking guy. Make a... a um, Fremen looking person. You can make your guy pretty much probably look like anything. Pretty standard. Nothing too... Doesn't look too groundbreaking there. Uh, so here it looks like they're raiding... I want to say that's a PV, PvE mission. Where you're going to raid these guys. And that's cool right there. You'll team up. You'll do these missions. Take out these raiders and all that kind of thing. Smugglers, whoever. So that looks pretty standard right there. You're going to have... Um, you can't use shields out here, right? In the desert area. So that's going to be weird. If you do, I don't... They've addressed that, I think, on the Discord. I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure... It, in the lore, you can't use shields out in the desert because it it calls the worms. So I'm assuming when you're out here doing some of these missions near the desert areas, you can't, you can't use... It, it might just deactivate them automatically or um, something like that. And maybe there's certain areas you can use shields in. Maybe it'll be like shield zones, non-shield zones. You know? Because shields are essentially, uh, in the lore, you're you're invulnerable from kinetic weapons. So nothing can kill you with a shield. Unless you get hit by a laser weapon, and it creates a mini nuke explosion. <laughs> so, but any anything kinetic cannot get through those shields. So maybe that's like the way they're going to separate the PvE versus the or the safe zone for your base or whatever, depending where you build. Maybe that's how they're going to have it. Maybe you have shields on so no one can destroy your stuff. But, yeah, because I'm assuming what I've read, I've read on this their Discord is that you're not going to be able to have shoot last cannons at all the shielded stuff because that would just be game-defeating, right? You just have dukes going off everywhere. So that's good. Um, yeah, so that's, that's about sums it up. You had some other artwork drops in there, and then... Just remember to get into the closed beta or in the running for the closed beta. You got to go to the Discord and do the sign up sheet. You have to sign up for their Discord and then sign up for the beta. I, so I've signed up like two different times because I didn't I didn't sign up on the Discord originally, way back last whenever summer fall. So I thought I was in the running. Apparently I'm not, but I am part of the creator program now, brand new, and I don't know how that works. So. <laughs> I'm all new to this. So I might eat, reach out and the email Funcom or something, but and see what I can do to help them, I guess. I don't know. Because, I mean, at a minimum, this will be a game. <laughs> right? How good will it be? It's looking really good. But, and everybody that loves Dune wants it to be great. So, and but I would really like to see what it looks like, you know, but. That'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. I can't wait for the open beta. That's really what I want, so I can make videos. But, um, open beta would be optimal, hopefully sometime this year. But other than that, folks, if you do like this content, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you out in the desert.